Well, hi everybody. This is Dear Mama So, and this is part two of Yellow. I'm very pleased to tell you that I <laughs> did something really smart for a change. What I did was I printed out uh, a whole lot of different yellows. And I didn't care about who made it or anything else. It's just like, and then I took all these different yellows and I put them up against my shirt. And I found out that this particular one was the closest to my shirt. Now, the reason I'm saying I didn't mind, you know, what brand of paint I copied uh, and printed out on my printer, because we all know that printers print things differently. So what I did was I just printed colors, and then I found the nearest one to match it, and I walked into Home Depot, and I said, forget about the make. This is the color I want. Uh, because I know that they can, they, they've got a magic eye that can look at it and then it will come up with the prescription, if you like, <laughs> come up with the formula that will make it what it needs to be. And so I'm pleased to tell you, I do now have the yellow paint that I need. Yay. And I also have white now, of course. <laughs> um, so that was quite exciting. However, It was a good distraction for me. I've just come away from my trip to the specialist. And I have found out that I definitely do need a biopsy and they're doing it next week. Now, again, I'm a little bit surprised because that's, you know, normally these things take much longer in Canada. Um, but I'm very happy that it's going to be next week. So, of course, there is no trip down to Benji and Judy next week. And I will need to warn Benji and Judy that maybe not the week after because I will be waiting for results. And, you know, that might be a whole different ball of wax. So I was... Um, it's a little stressful not that you're that they did anything that was painful or anything it's just that you know that you are now waiting to hear whether you've got um, cancer or not but the thing is that they are going to do it I, I will type up the right name for it because I can't remember what it was now but it's the type of biopsy where they actually just go in with a needle and they suck out some tissue. They don't sc scoop out tissue or cut out tissue. They just literally suck it out. So a sort of a fat needle goes in. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> but the thing that is said uh, worrying about it for me is the fact that they're going to do it on a mammogram, uh, mammogram machine, first of all, which means I'm going to get another boob squish and a hard one. And then once the boob is squished, they're going to go in. So, you know, you're going to be under a hard mammogram press for a long time. So I was very honest and I would like to recommend that you do that. I said, I, I'm a bit of a wuss, and I know you guys don't think I am, but you know, I just said to them, I'm a bit of a wuss, so I'm likely to be fairly stressed about all of this human nature that I would be. And what if I faint at the mammogram machine? And my question would be, can I have that done sitting down so I don't have to worry about that? Anyway, we'll see whether they allow that. Um, you know, my attitude is, funny enough, I, I'd be more s concerned about passing out. <laughs> and I know that they all say, no, it's nothing to worry about, but you know something? 
I've never had that done before. I don't know how my body is going to react and therefore I want to make sure that they are aware. The other thing I want to let you know is that as somebody who is hard of hearing, and I am, every time you go into a hospital everybody's wearing masks so you can't hear anything. And I just want to make sure you all know that you have the right to hear.